Well, it's what we've been waiting for all season long. The 2024 OHL playoffs, they begin Thursday night. And I was looking at the schedule, trying to figure out, okay, how am I going to do the playoff preview videos? So I thought I'd do it based on the series that starts it all off. And that's the North Bay Battalion taking on the Kingston Frontenacs. That's at North Bay Memorial Gardens Thursday night at 7. North Bay Battalion coming in as the number two seed in the East. And for Kingston, they're the seventh seed in the Eastern Conference. And for Kingston, they've kind of known these last couple of weeks they would play seventh in the East. Well, North Bay, their positioning came down to the final night between the Oshawa Generals and the Sudbury Wolves. And since Oshawa won that game in regulation, uh, that meant North Bay would have a date with Kingston. And looking at the season record between these two teams, North Bay has the advantage. They have a record of 2-1-1 one, and one against Kingston. And uh, that overtime loss, it actually just came a week ago. That was when North Bay was in Kingston. Paul Ludwinski scored the overtime winner in that one. That was also a hat trick goal for him uh, in that hockey game. And if you look at how these two teams have been playing over their last 10, the Kingston Frontenacs have a record of 5-3-2, and two, and they're riding a four-game winning streak. So the Frontenacs have some momentum going into the postseason. While North Bay, they've been playing really well of late. Uh, over their last 10, 8-1-1. One, and one. And they're on a seven-game point streak. Their only loss coming in overtime against the Kingston Frontenacs. So a bit of a confidence builder for the Fronts heading into this first-round matchup. And let's look at some of the numbers. The goals for category strongly favoring North Bay. They have 300 goals for to Kingston's 247. On the goals against side of things, North Bay also, again, with the advantage, they've only allowed 240 goals this season to Kingston's 272. Uh, Kingston, they had a very slow start to the season. You'll remember Luca Caputi let go as head coach uh, within the, la the first two months of the regular season, and then uh, Troy Mann taking over behind the bench. And uh, for Mann, he's really turned this team around. Kingston, they've been one of the more consistent teams of late, and I feel like this is a team that's underperformed for a lot of the season. They've got a lot of great pieces in this lineup that are playoff ready. So I know some are figuring, oh, North Bay will sweep this. Not so much. I think Kingston has a shot of uh, making this series interesting. If you look at the specialty teams, Kingston, they do have the advantage on the power play. Their power play unit operating at 23.7% during the regular season, while North Bay, 22.7%. So 1% difference between the two, but you have to give the advantage, I guess, a bit to Kingston. The penalty kill, though, North Bay, uh, they shut things down on the penalty kill, 82.2% to Kingston's 79.4%. When you look at the top scores for these two teams, uh, you'll notice that North Bay has a lot more firepower up front. But let's start off with Kingston. Their top scorer this season was Paul Ludwinski, 23 goals, 46 assists, good for 69 points. He had that hat trick in the win against North Bay last week. Jacob Battaglia comes in at number two, 31 goals, 34 assists, 65 points. Uh, Battaglia, a very talented forward, Plays quite well uh, up front with Ludwinski on that power play unit, so expect to see those two together quite a bit. Christopher Thibodeau also having a really good year for Kingston. 21 goals, 39 assists, good for 60 points. And then you have Matthew Soto. I think we were kind of expecting a little more from him this year, but he's still got 25 goals, 31 assists, good for 56 points. And then Jax Dubois, big pickup from Peterborough at the OHL trade deadline. 24 goals, 30 assists, 54 points. I think for Kingston... Dubois and Roman Schmidt, those two are acquired during the regular season. I think they're going to be very important pieces if Kingston is going to overcome this first-round challenge. The top goaltender this year, Mason Vicari, he has a 3.55 goals against average and an 880 save percentage. The only thing is Vicari, he played a lot of hockey this season. So did Kingston overplay him? That's a good big question mark when it comes to goaltending and the Kingston Frontenacs. Now when we shift over to the top scorers for the North Bay Battalion, Anthony Romani, he had a phenomenal year. He reached 56 goals, 53 assists, good for 109 points. Uh, Anthony Romani, he just had a breakout year in North Bay. Expect that to continue going into the playoffs. And then you've got Dallin Wakeley, 38 goals, 64 assists. He had 102 points. So you have two players on this North Bay roster who broke 100 points this season. Owen Van Steensel rounds out that line, 41 goals, 45 assists, good for 86 points. Justin Ertl, a player that uh, cannot be taken lightly, great on the forecheck, 25 goals, 44 assists, good for 69 points. 
And then a big pickup from the Sarnia Sting, Sanisville Manis, fitting in quite nicely with this North Bay team. Uh, in the end, after playing uh, with Sarnia and North Bay, 37 goals, 27 assists, good for 64 points. Phil Manis, the uh, Latvian native, nearly hitting the 40-point mark. So uh, this is a very lethal offense for the North Bay Battalion. They'll look to expose Kingston on the back end, and if Vakari is uh, you know, a little fatigued, uh, North Bay will look to take advantage of that. Uh, the top goaltender for North Bay, Dom DiVincentis, 3.13 goals against average, 895 save percentage. We know that Dom DiVincentis uh, can shut things down. He's one of the top goaltenders in this league. And coming into the season, a lot of people are expecting him to become goaltender of the year. His numbers not matching really what we saw last year, but he is a solid goaltender. Come playoff time, he can win you a series. But when you already have that offense that North Bay does, that's going to go hand in hand. And I haven't even talked about Ty Nelson. He didn't even break the top five in scoring on this North Bay lineup. So this is a very deep battalion team. And uh, they're coming off winning their third straight Central Division title. Uh, North Bay definitely a force in the East. But I'm sure for the Kingston Frontenacs, uh, with their talent and their run right now, uh, they've gotten that momentum going in the postseason. Uh, they could make things very interesting when this first round series gets underway. And I do like looking back into the past, being like, okay, when did these la these teams last meet in the playoffs? The last meeting between the North Bay Battalion and the Kingston Frontenacs, it was back in 2022. So just two years ago, North Bay won that series over Kingston four games to one. And uh, that was in the second round. So some recent playoff history uh, between the North Bay Battalion and the Kingston Frontenacs. This should be, I think, a fun series to follow, especially with the way the North Bay Battalion have been playing this year. And... With Kingston, the way they've been playing of late, maybe they can steal a game or two. Uh, I think this could go uh, maybe six games, maybe, but I don't want to make any predictions. But you can make a prediction in the comments section down below. Who do you think is going to win this series between the North Bay Battalion and the Kingston Frontenacs? And in how many games? Love to see the interactions. And uh, we'll have more playoff preview uh, videos coming up. This is just the first one uh, of the eight uh, matchups from the first round. So stay tuned for those. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you again soon.